he likes sex props, he likes sex swings, he likes, you know, me to go out and buy all this lingerie, and he likes the handcuffs. Me personally, never been into that before. You know, I'm always used to the man being the dominant one in mm -hmm. the relationship. Mm -hmm. So when he's telling me, oh, you know, I like this, you know, I like having sex well, you, swings. He wants you to cuff him. Yeah. Do you have an escalating freak need? Uh. <laughs> When friends introduced Maria to Patrick, she was instantly enamored with him. But after two years of dating and one year of an engagement, Maria says she must have been blinded by the glare because she completely missed his dark side. He has a freaky side to him. I'm just saying more kinky things like, um, like handcuffs and, you know, I've had... Just... The less in him? Yeah, she's not really into that that side, you know. And so to get, you know, that side out of me without having to meet you up, you do with it people, elsewhere. I, you know, I try and talk to people that are into it. Are you just talking or are you touching? Can Maria get past Patrick's sexual needs in order to make their engagement work, or is there more to this relationship than meets the eye? We have three dogs and two cats, Your Honor. And when he walks to them, they start hovering and they start whimpering because they know that they're going to get their butt beat by him. Today on Divorce Court.